Air acrobats in action. Aluminum handlebars and wheel rims are a definite advantage for high flyers. But the lightweight metal keeps more than just BMX bikers riding high. Aluminum plays an important role in outdoor sports, car manufacturing, and medical technology. To give aluminum parts such as bicycle wheel rims just the right color, a company in the German town of Wetzlar has created a galvanic adenizing process that conserves resources. The aluminum rim is soaked in several solutions. The decisive reaction comes in the adenization solution. Here, sulfuric acid ions play an important role. An electric charge is applied to the rim, attracting ions which give off oxygen. That makes the surface porous, allowing the pigment to bind with the smooth aluminum. The voltage also causes particles to collect on the other side, hydrogen protons on the so-called backing electrode. As a result, tiny aluminum particles free themselves from the electrode and combine themselves with the sulfuric acid. The problem is there aren't enough free sulfuric acid ions and the process is interrupted. Either the current flow must be increased or the adenization solution turns into toxic waste. In order to save resources and money, the Wetzlar company uses a special retardation process. Inside the unit, part of the adenization solution flows through a special resin, which draws back the sulfuric acid ions and allows the aluminum particles to move again. Water flushes the sulfuric acid back into the adenization solution, and the chemical process can continue. The new technique is paying off for the company. The retardation process allows us to save around 18 to 20,000 euros in chemical costs and cut down on cooling and energy costs as well. The unit will have paid for itself in about two years. The benefit is not only financial. The adenization process is followed by the actual pigmenting of the aluminum. Constant purification maintains the right concentration of sulfuric acid ions in the adenization solution, and the aluminum parts in the solution also possess a consistently porous surface. That way the color particles bind with the aluminum. This results in a high quality and deeply glazed layer of color. The implementation of resource saving procedures not only cuts costs, it also improves the production quality. Technicians gain a better overview of material flows that improve their ability to steer the entire procedure. Along with the acid from the adenization solution, the unit in Wetzlar also purifies and recirculates the water it uses for the process. The waste heat resulting from the purification is also used in a further process. This allows Wetzlar engineers to conserve 90% of the wastewater and a quarter of the energy. 
these environmental protection measures can be transferred to other industries as well. The surface technique here in Wetzlar is a good example of the economic potential for companies that practice resource efficiency. The same principles can be applied to any other industry. And to support small and medium-sized companies, there are numerous funds available from both the federal and the state governments. Not just for the production of bike wheels. Using resources efficiently can save German industry more than 150 billion euros a year.